Welcome to day two of the greatest Hawaii travel vlog that's ever been. Um, we, it's rainy. It's rainy in Hilo. There was a tropical depression last night. Um, that's like kind of, we're getting like the outskirts of it, which just is just a lot of rain. So, um, but Hilo gets a lot of rain anyway. So it's, it's actually the rainiest city in America. So that's not really unnatural for Hilo. But it's been good. So we went to a uh, farmer's market this morning and just kind of looked around at all the different kinds of weird fruits and stuff like that. And now we're going to do a little tour of Hilo. So, Johnny, how are you doing? Good. I We had um, a great stay at the um, Old Hawaiian Bed and Breakfast. And they had a yummy breakfast this morning. There's all kinds of like tropical fruits that like grow in their backyard and... Um, some pastries and stuff so that was good and then we popped over to the farmer's market and bought some jams and jellies and butters that I had gotten some at a farmer's market before we um, moved and so I was scouting them out and trying to find them here so we ordered some ham they're going to be shipped to our house and then I also found this awesome um, Christmas ornament that is stained glass, like little pieces of stained glass that are, he made into the shape of a, um, into the shape of a uh, the volcano with like the lava spewing. So I was like, oh, that will be like a really unique um, ornament to to remind us of our time. So anyway, we're heading back to the beginning of Hilo where we came in last night so that we can do our gypsy guide tour around Hilo and explore a little bit today. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, Johnny, so where are we at? Kamana Caves. Kamana Caves. And that one's huge. These are lava tubes, like we walked through yesterday. They go like 25 miles, and they're massive. Supposedly there's areas where you have to crawl crawl through because it changes the uh, size. It's really lush around here. Goodness gracious, I feel like it's in a rainforest. I think we are in a rainforest. Cool. Do you want to go down there? Uh, no. The stairs look pretty. It's kind of slippery. I'm not really dressed for spelunking. I don't have my tennis shoes on. But that's really cool. Well, we got a little bit of sunshine. I mean, it's still kind of cloudy, but it stopped raining for a reprieve. We didn't. We drove around to where um, Rainbow Falls and Boiling Pots, some different falls and things, um, but we didn't get out. We are about to go on to the Hamaku Coast to see uh, 40 miles to Honoka. And um, we just tried some mochi, and it was different. <laughs> it was good. I liked it. Yeah, it was pretty good. I think it's one of those things that you um, probably really like if you grew up with it, but if you didn't, it's like, okay, good. But it was unique, for sure, and an experience. So, yeah. Hamakua Coast. But now we're, this is just Hilo Bay. Getting some coastal views. Rainy coastal views. So we're on a scenic drive um, on the uh, Honomaka or Hona uh, something coast. And it's hard for me to remember the names without actually looking at them. It's hard for me to pronounce the names without looking at them rather. But um, just checking out this bridge here, which is super cool looking. 
So let's see if I can snap a couple of pictures of it. The river, as you can see from the depression, is just going crazy today. It's all brown. Normally this water would be a lot clearer, if I remember correctly from our previous trip. Alright, we're walking to Onamea Bay. It's on the same little scenic drive stretch that we've been on for the last 20-30 minutes. But we're gonna check it out. Alright, just put on some, just put on some tear shield. Yeah, we got, some oil, we got our bug repellent on, got our sunscreen on. Well, I have sunscreen on. But it's a pretty easy little walking path. It's all paved. And we're heading down to the bay. He's talking about what? Oh. Oh, there's where you can go. Give it a little Yeah. And the waves are like really Mm -hmm. It's right in front of you. That little deeper one? So that's a blowhole. The oh, thing no, with no. water spouting out of it. You'll see it in a second there. Watch. Probably here after this. There you go. Oh, yeah. See? Low hole cove. Not the best swimming. <laughs> the best if you want to get thrown against the rock. This is really pretty though. This place was like deserted until the late 70s. And then this couple found it and bought it and turned it into this botanical garden. Oh, uh, and the breezes are coming in. It feels amazing yeah. right now. This is kind of our real like first legit ocean experience, kind of. <laughs> Other than the black sand beach yesterday. Yeah. Which wasn't really as nice because the wind was not as nice. This is like good sea wind without it being like insane. Like volcano yesterday. Well, we saw the ocean at the end of Chain of Craters Road last night. Yeah. But we didn't get to walk out to it and really experience it. No, we just took a picture. Of the and we were so high. We were, we so, were so high, high up, yeah. we missed it. We Felt missed all like the. We, were far away from we it. missed the goodness of it. I see a coconut tree. Oh yeah, up there. There's several right there, right growing over the water. These monkey pods are amazing. Like, look from this direction, you can see like.
beginning our trek back up the ramp from the what is this called? Hawaii uh, Tropical Botanical Garden. Hawaii Tropical Botanical Garden. Does it have Hawaii at the front of it? Or is it just called tropical? Hawaii Tropical Botanical Garden. One, it's a very steep incline and it's like 500 feet so we might begin day three at the top of this. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Do you like it, Johnny? Yeah. Cool. Did you like it? I did. What was your favorite thing? The ocean walk was pretty good. It was also about 15 degrees cooler than it is right here where we're at, which put a lot of ticks in its box. If there's one thing you could say about Eleanor Crum, it was that she loved bamboo. So, there you go. Somebody carved in her bamboo tree. <sighs> Eleanor would be very disappointed. Okay, more climbing. Here we go. So we're in the more rainforesty part of Hilo now, driving on the major highway to, I don't know, what, kind of like the north side of the island. The next place we get to is Honoka'a, and then Waimea. Yeah. So, make our new way, and then from there, do we go to Kohala, or do we go just, we just go straight into Kona? I think we can go. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, we're just kind of making our way around the northern part of the island and checking everything out. As you can see, there's lots of bridges with lots of um, little streams that we go over. All these streams come down from Mauna Kea, I think. And, um go out to the ocean so they're definitely streams I mean there's not a lot of water in them although there's probably more today than there would be normally but um, it's a very 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 beautiful drive if you like rainforest and lush vegetation and waterfalls and streams so we're down here on the beach park <coughs> grass is like really wet This is our breakfast view. It is day three, the full day three. <laughs> 